Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to share you my recipe of cooking um, sauerkraut fish stew. Um, so to cook, cook this re recipe, you need, of course, a lot of uh, fish. So um, for fish stew, you don't really need any expensive fish. Uh, I use a tilapia, and then you want to cut them into smaller pieces like this. Um, and then you need the seasoning for the fish, uh, which I usually use like a soy sauce, some wines, um, and of course, we need the sauerkraut. Um, and I like to use um, some Italian sausage just, just for their flavor. Uh, you can also use the bacon. Um, and um, yeah, that will be it. All right, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is cut the fish into smaller pieces, um, and then you need to add the seasoning in there. So I usually just add uh, some soy sauce in there. I mean, um, this kind of sauce will not go into the soup eventually. Um, they're just um, kind of bright, so that's why it's okay to kind of overdo it for now. Um, and uh, I also like to put some uh, white pepper in there. And uh, this is some potato starch just um, to go around the fish because uh, one thing you got to be careful when make making fish stew is that you don't want the fish to fall apart. So um, the potato starch kind of um, trying to go around every pieces. Um, so that they do not fall apart. Um, then next step, you're gonna want to massage them a little bit um, before you put them back to fridge for like a half hour um, so that they get all the flavor in them before you cook it. All right, so next step, um, we start to cook the fish. So first you wanna warm up the pan and put some oil in there. And then we're gonna start to cook the Italian sausage. So since what we want is the flavor and then the grease from it, so I usually just cut them into smaller pieces, kind of like smaller meatball. So you want to cook the Italian sausage a little bit um, so that you don't see any pink before you move to the next step. All right, so the Italian sausage is uh, not pink anymore. So next step is put the sauerkraut in there. So I use the entire jar, this is a smaller jar here, um, if you bought the same kind from Costco, I think only half jar is good. Um, and make sure you get all the juice from sauerkraut as well, because the juice has a lot of flavor. Italian sausage and sauerkraut, they actually, they're a good match. Um, and uh, another thing I want to put is a garlic with sauerkraut. And uh, certainly you can use fresh garlic and chop them into smaller pieces. Um, but then I usually just buy this moose garlic from grocery store and leave them in the fridge so that they're ready anytime I want. Now at this point, you're gonna have to cook for a little bit, maybe like 10 minutes, um, so that uh, the sauerkraut is fully cooked and then it get all the flavor, you can smell all the flavor from it. All right, so sauerkraut is uh, cooking now. Um, so the next step um, is optional. I, I like to put some frozen vegetable into my stew just so that uh, we eat some vegetable, it's a more balanced meal. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, so I'm just gonna put the rest bag in there. And uh, before we start to add water. Now this water is really the water of the stew. So uh, I boil some water ahead of time. So I'm gonna pour it in. Um, you don't have to if you can use like chicken stock, beef stock, or just cool water if you want. Uh, I'm just pouring boil water in there so that it's um, so that I don't have to boil them in the pan. Um, so next, I'm just gonna wait for the water to boil before I start to put a fish in there. 
All right, so the soup is boiling now, and uh, I'm gonna. And actually, before I start for the fish, I'll put some Italian herb in there,、um, just so that I add more flavor to my soup. That's a good amount. I started for the fish in there, so massage more, get more flavor before I drop them in.、Um, One thing you want to make sure is you want the fish don't、uh, get the the sauce in there because they can probably be pretty salty. So all the fish is in.、Um, and then another thing I like to put in this fish stew is some tofu. So、um, you can put a fresh tofu.、Um, I usually like to use a frozen one. And、uh, by the way,、uh, freezing tofu is actually a good way to keep them fresh. I cut them into cubes. And then put them in the freezer, and then you can just drop them into your stew or soup whenever you need them. And then actually, when you after you freeze them,、um, they tend to get a lot of holes, kind of like sponge effect, because、um, uh, in, in that way those holes, like sponge, it will actually absorb a lot of flavor from the soup. So it's actually a good thing you put in any stew or soup you want. So, all right. So that's everything I'm gonna put in my fish stew.、Um, for next,、um, usually you have to cook it for about、uh, 20 minutes, making sure the fish is fully cooked,、uh, but then do not fall apart. So, all right. We'll see how it goes. All right. So after 20 minutes, the fish is fully cooked and not falling apart.、Um, So you see, everything is fully cooked, and it just looks very, very good, actually. So, all right, let me、um, get the stew or soup in a bowl, and we'll try it out. All right, so the fish is in a bowl now. Let's actually try it out. Hmm.、Um, yeah, this is very good, and I, I actually like that. It's not falling apart. Falling apart. And a lot of flavor. And、uh, let me try the sauerkraut here. Um, I like it. Um, I I'm pretty sure the tofu is very good at this point. It's full of juice, but I'm not gonna try it for now. It might be still a little bit hot because it's full of、uh, the the hot soup in there. Um, yeah, I really like it. All right. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, um. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.